This video is sponsored by Squarespace, an extensive platform to create a modern and beautiful online presence. So I finally got inducted into using the knitting machines and so I got some yarn. The color changing ones are from Noro. They were like 80% wool, which was high quality but kind of expensive. Um, in order to use the machine, you have to uh, push out the needles, like however wide your piece is going to be. And then you have to loop your ease, which I am doing right now. Um, it looks like that. And then you add combs and weights on it so it doesn't like shrink up and then gets tangled into the machines or whatever i'm not super fluent with the knitting machine so i ask for a lot of help and i don't really know what i'm talking about right now you have to thread it on there's a lot of loops and then you basically just push it and it knits which is so cool um it makes knitting scarves a lot faster i do not know how to knit shirts or like socks or anything like that so <laughs> we're getting there guys we're getting there um and then you have to like ball up the yarn so because like the machine gets aggravated very easily so you gotta make sure it's happy and in order to do that you gotta like have the yarn neatly rolled into this perfect little ball which i am gently lifting and ta-da it's cute looping the yarn again i think i used four balls of this noro yarn so it was like almost 40 pounds to make the scarf that i'm trying to make um a lot of pushing it's just manual labor at this point um yeah <laughs> i really should learn how to make like images on the knitting like a design or something i feel like that would be cool but like just look how fast it knits it's like vroom vroom and look here we have it a skinny scarf it's actually not that skinny i have to wash it and like pin it so it stretches out but i kind of like it skinny because skinny scarves are trending now it's cute i like it i feel like the color is also go really well together Let's talk briefly about today's sponsor. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to create websites and help your business grow. They have so many different chic and unique templates to choose from, which makes it so easy, especially for me, someone who isn't tech savvy at all. I use it to display a variety of my works. Squarespace also has image blocks that automatically scale or fit images to ensure they always look right on your computer or phone. You can also connect your social platforms and even your Etsy shop to Squarespace. Check out squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash purplekabocha to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Hello from Lyon, France. It's freezing and of course the transportation has to 
has to be on strike literally every single time I've been to France I think this is the third time your transportation has been striking like it just does not work and it's so cold oh my god I love Le how Leon has like big windows. That seems to be the theme. Aww, I drew that like eight years ago or something. Huh? I said that was really fast. Oh yeah. I The Sone River? La Sone. La Sone. And I love La Hon. La Hon. <laughs> Oh, bonjour, à de So the biggest reason for my visit in Lyon is to see my friend of 14 years, which is so sweet and amazing. He's studying abroad there and leaving soon to go back to the States. So I thought, why not go to Lyon and see him really quickly because I feel like it's been two years since I last saw him. And it's also such a coincidence that this little art shop called K-Blind, Kiblon at Tulie is selling my illustration. They printed it through a risograph machine and it was so awesome to see it in person. I was just beyond happy. This is in Old Town Lyon, so if you guys are in the area, go check it out. They also have just wonderful artwork from all kinds of illustrators. I loved everything they were selling from posters to little magazines and books. They also have an Instagram where they feature artist works. You can definitely go take a look and I promise you'll love them. Okay.
this was my last day in Lyon and I didn't really film much. I just took videos on my phone because I really wanted to take in the city and also spend time with my friend. Um, we went to a museum, saw some really good ceramics, but I realized that I didn't take any videos of those at all. Um, and then we went hiking on this hill. Well, it's not really hiking. It's like, it's like a five minute hike, okay? <laughs> and ah, the views were just so pretty. I'm glad that some of the leaves are still on the tree, reluctant to fall. Um, and on my way back from London to Plymouth, I saw a lot of snow. actually looks quite good there's like potatoes parsnips a vegan nut roast and brussels sprouts you are bouncing on my knee I feel like I haven't seen my friends like all together in a long time because there hasn't been like a lecture in a while. I mean, they canceled this Tuesday's lecture because people are getting COVID. I think that's why. That was so watery, oh my God. 
Let's try the parsnips. Mm, good. I need just some I need some sauces. Let's go get sauces. Someone just gave these to me in the hallway. I don't think I'm gonna eat this, but I want the cupcake. It has jam inside. Cappuccino mint. Oh, piss. Oh my god, it's low battery. I think it's gonna die on me. I don't know why, I like charged it and I never used the battery. And now it's dying. So this is one of the bowls that I actually threw on the wheel and then used the underglaze pen to draw out the hands and then used crystal glazes on top. But then I just remember that crystal glazes might not be food safe so I decided to coat it with another layer of transparent glaze um, because that is food safe and hopefully I won't die using it. <laughs> 